Hello guys, Jim here, it's been a while. How is everyone? Hope you're all okay. We're doing very well here. Um, been a while again since videos, so, you know, work does get in the way unfortunately. Um, and I, um, I do forget um, to do videos and I do lose um, interest in doing them, but um, I thought I'd do one today. Um, been to the uh, charity shops this morning and um, done reasonably well. Um, I don't tend to go to um, the charity shops very often anymore. Um, I've got some very good wholesale contacts now um, and I buy in big bulk um, and I tend to just use that stock to get me through um, all the sales etc that I need. Um, we are concentrating more now on turnover. We were getting particularly close to having to register for VAT etc because um, turnover was getting to the uh, close to that level. Um, the problem being that because we were buying so much stock from me going to charity shops, car boots regularly from buying still from wholesalers etc. Although we were turning over a lot of money we weren't making enough profit if that makes sense. Um, so we've decided rather than keep going on that model um, pushing through the VAT threshold and obviously um, losing <laughs> a lot of our income to tax we've decided to strip it back slightly concentrate more on much better um, levels of profit much better margins um, hopefully with these new this new um, wholesaler um, that is going to be very possible and we're going to get or stay at the level we're at now but obviously make a lot more money um, because the margins are better if that model works then in the future we will be going um, bigger going for VAT um, but we will be in a far more stable financial position to be able to do so so I know in the past I've said I'll buy anything that makes money and to a degree that is still true but I need there to be a good return now because of the volume that I am selling um, if you don't make enough profit when you get to a level where you're pushing the VAT threshold, um, you do need to review what you're doing. I think if, you, if you're just a casual seller or or just a lower um, sort of um, level reseller, then fine, by all means, that works. It worked for us. It got us to the level that we wanted to be. But as I said, now we are pushing it and stand to lose quite a considerable amount of our turnover because of the VAT man. We're stripping it back and we're reviewing everything and we're going to be doing it slightly differently. As I said, because I buy now an awful lot of clothing um, through wholesalers, um, that will take care of that business model itself. Um, that being said, there is still money to be made from charity shops. Um, so I don't go as often as I used to go. Um, maybe once every couple of weeks I'll go and do a few. Um, whereas before, three or four times a week, I was out getting whatever I could. Um, now that is not necessary for us, um, so I'm more picky um, and I don't tend to buy t-shirts for three quid that I'm going to sell for ten um, because that puts ten pound on my turnover but only two pound or even a pound in my bank account, which is not what I need. Um, I've got to be far more organised. Now, today, as I said, I've been out um, and picked up, I think it's 15 or 16 items. Um, there is a smaller margin on a couple of the items, but I'll be bundling them together um, to increase what I could um, be making. So we'll run through. There is one item which is an amazing find, um, especially for for us, um, and I'll explain that when I get to it, but... Um, Big profit and ideal for our eBay store, which if people are aware, we are now pretty much entirely clothing resellers and we concentrate a lot on workwear, um, fishing and hunting, um, barbers, wax jackets, things like that. Um, and you'll see why this one is such a good find for us. So I'll quickly run through it. Um, hopefully some people may learn um, 
some more brands or things that they can make a bit more money to look out for when they're out of the charity shops nice jewels bomber jacket this is a men's size um, medium I paid seven pound fifty there is only one sold on eBay of this model now on jewels you can find the model of all of their clothing very simply on the lab care label it says the model name and the model color for all of their clothing so um, it's easy to research and easy to find out what you're doing this is a Fenwell now the only one that's sold or in completely dis listings on eBay was brand new that's sold for 70 plus postage this is obviously used um, but even so very good condition it's a medium prefer probably a bigger size but it'll do okay um, and I'll be listing that up for 40 so not bad at all um, got this Marlborough Classics utility it's like a chore jacket but it's like a, poly, a shiny polyester um, their workwear um, can sell really well their leather jackets can sell well as well took a gamble on this 10 quid um, I know my money's good in that um, I'll be listing that for 35 40 pound as well another area that we spend a lot of time and sell an awful lot of is tracksuit tops this particular one is a vintage adidas so by the label there vintage adidas it's not a shell suit it's more of a nylon-y type um, that was 5 99 and that's easily 35 if not more I think it's a golf top um, I'll do a bit more research it's got the perforated under sleeves there it's very nice so 5 99 into 35 all day long another piece of vintage um, a brand I don't normally buy but because this is old um, I picked it up and that's carry more this is an XL it's a winter expedition 2 um, jacket the main reason I bought it is Gore-Tex um, so it's vintage it's carry more it's Gore-Tex and it was eight pounds so get that again will be about the same sort of price 35 to 40 I'll price everything at 40 um, or at the higher end of any estimates that I give but I always quite regularly send out offers of around about 10% um, so if I say it's 40 I'll probably end up nearer 35 on it sometimes if it doesn't sell after a few weeks three months I'll drop that down even further but I'm pretty confident these things will sell quite quick another staple for us is Fred Perry's um, this is quite a nice black but with like neon pink and yellow twin tip it's a small it was 3 99 but as I say, um, Fred Perry's are quite uh, bread and butter for us. Um, that'll be 15 to 18 pounds, no problem at all. Bought this, I shouldn't really have bought it, but I'm a fan, so that's why I did. This is a um, WWE New Day t shirt, it's a medium. Um, did pay up for it a fiver. Now, to buy them off the WWE store is about 35 used. I'll list it for 15. A brand that everyone thinks is brilliant but tends not to be most of the time, Tommy Hilfiger. Um, this is a wall cardigan. I bought it because of the, the varsity style, sort of, you know, American preppy um, college style. Nice embroidered um, H New York on there. Um, paid $6.99 for that. I wouldn't normally spend that much on um, Tommy Hilfiger. As I say, I like the style. I think it'll sell really well. I think that'll be somewhere in the £35 range again. Um, walking down the aisles, I saw this in the ladies section. All I saw was that. I thought, I know what that is. It's Vans. And it is indeed. This is a Vans sweatshirt dress. So it's, it's like, a, like a sweatshirt, but it's much longer. It comes down almost to knees. Um, it's ladies, obviously a medium. It was five ninety nine. The exact one has sold on eBay a few times for around twenty five to thirty pounds. It's coming up to summer. We sell a lot of golf stuff, so put this up. This is a Callaway Opti Dry polo shirt. This was three pounds. 
that will go for 15 may push it up to about 18 because of the style uh, nice Gantt sweatshirt big logo on the front there um, it's an XXL £6.50 um, where's my list gone dropped it one second wise professional it, you know always um, 20 to 25 now that's the majority oh no we did pick up a couple of toys um got this vtech uh alphabet phonics t-shirt boxed it's a little bit faded on the front but it was five pound in the box they can sell it for it's, you know, between 20 and 30. a lot of the 20s don't have the box so we can push that up a little bit probably to 30 for that one and I also picked up some older Airfix and Matchbox model kits. The return on these isn't huge, but I will bundle them probably together. Um, this one here, the Fokkerwolf FW190, and, well, we thought it was a Northrop uh, F5, but it had beef PD pie written on it. And when I checked the box, it is indeed an old Airfix bottom board if I kit. Um, so she knocked the price down to a pound each on those two for me, the lady in the shop. And then I got this um, old Airfix Red Arrows Nat for £1.50. Um, the Nat, somewhere around a tenner. The Bolton Paul, even though it's in the wrong box, again a tenner. And the Fockable can go for about 15 So from £3.50 to 33 not too bad. That leaves the best pick of the day. Now, as I said, we sell a lot of barber. This is a barber jacket. But this one is rather, rather nice. It was 19 .99. Now, most barbers at 19 .99 are a decent buy, except probably the quilts, which sell for about 30 But this one, not only is it mid-90s, possibly early uh, late 80s you can tell that by the labeling and the barcode but this is the a760 moleskin blouson and there isn't actually any of this actual jacket on ebay um, not in sales i'll do a bit more research but at 20 pound i was always going to buy it the bloke was actually trying it on in the shop when i was in there he said no nah, it's a bit too big for him so i Naturally snapped it up as soon as he put it back on the stand. That, believe it or not, being moleskin, being barber, I'll probably have for 150 on it. It's a real, real beauty. So there we go. Spent about £100, I think, today all in. Um, return, or at least listed value, should be somewhere in the region of 450 to 500 not too bad. I mean, if I can do that every time I go, we'll all be happy, but obviously I don't. And I'm sure most people don't. Most people like me watch people on YouTube going to charity shops, finding loads of stuff, then go and find absolutely nothing. That's what tends to happen for me. Today I was lucky. Admittedly, I haven't been there for a long time. Don't think that affects anything, really. I think it's purely all down to luck. It's all down to timing as to what stocks just come in and what's on the shelf when you go. Um, and as I say, most of the time I find very, very little. I can find loads of stuff with that smaller margin that I used to buy at, but now I want to push it up just that bit. I'm looking for a bit more, and I'm a bit more picky. Um, I kind of, how do you say, I now have the knowledge of most men's clothing. I'm by far from an expert, um, but I do know certain brands because I sell a lot of them that's as i said 90 percent probably now of our ebay is clothing um so i do know my way around um a certain things women's clothing i am useless at i am starting to pick up more now through my wholesalers um of women's clothing women's vintage clothing trying to build my knowledge base and trying to build um, our eBay store more and more um, but I'm trying to do it slowly I don't want to increase at a speed I can't cope with um, so it all it's all up there all trying to think about everything now be a bit more professional 
as you can tell by the video quality as ever um, and just trying to do it better so I'm hoping to do more uh, videos now a um, bit more insight maybe into the wholesale side of stuff that we're dealing with um, what sort of stuff we're buying um, why we buy it obviously and um, values etc like normal I'm also now um, an Amazon seller um, I don't tend to sell as much on Amazon as I could again it all comes back down to margin Amazon can be amazing you can make a lot of money on that if you put the time in I don't have the time really um, with running eBay with having children um, and other things that are on the go as well um, so I don't really have the time to put into it and I you, as I said you could make huge huge amounts of money but the margin is quite small with Amazon so you have to buy a lot to make a lot um, I'm a member of the next level resale sorry the sun's in my face here isn't it I'm a member of the next level resale discord group which people may possibly have heard of Kieran at uh, Rummage Around and Sam some sell stuff run that discord and I've got to be honest with you I am not sponsored by them I pay to use that service they do not ask me to promote them in any way whatsoever but I have to say it is brilliant if you are wanting to not just Amazon but wanting to get into reselling more professionally and make a lot more money Amazon and eBay wise it's it's brilliant um, there's a lot of people on there now a lot of people with a very very broad knowledge especially with Amazon I mean Amazon to me is 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 alien as I said even though I've been doing it for probably 18 months now there's people on there that make more money than you could possibly imagine it's insane um, but there's also a lot of eBay experts on there um, and a lot of you know big big turnover people who are on there um, I as I said we were close to VAT but I don't still don't classify myself as an expert or anything on eBay um, but there are it goes to show that the possibilities with reselling not only in terms of how it fits into everyday lifestyle but how it can completely transform what what you can earn is is amazing so if you are interested in, in expanding that, I'm sure those guys are more than willing to take uh, new members. Um, as I say, I'm, I am not in any way sponsored by them. I don't have a code to use them. I am not making money from saying this, um, but it's, it's really good. It's really good. So, you know, yes, it's a Discord people... Um, say oh, absolute con and stuff trust me it isn't um yes you have to pay for it but with the leads and the knowledge that you get it pays for itself easily i mean i um in one month i've paid for over a year's worth of subscriptions by hardly doing anything you know <laughs> half an hour shopping and i've paid for it for a year anyway i, I, I digress um ongoing in terms of of us here at extreme Boaters, Hopefully a few more videos. Um, car boot season should be starting in March for us. I can't wait. Um, we'll see what that brings. We'll see what the future brings. It might mean that we have to expand the business in terms of um, registering more. Um, registering as a limited or VOT or whatever. But anyway, I'm waffling now. Um, thanks for watching. Um, so that's it for now I hope that was of interest to anyone to someone um, hopefully I'll be back soon can't promise it as I've said in previous videos where I've promised I would be back and haven't been but who knows I might be back tomorrow here's hoping see you later